Welcome back everyone. Today we have an amazing collection of Hulk movie toys from 2003. We have a bunch of single figures. We have this electronic rage cage. And this super huge Hulk and Bruce Banner. What we'll do is save these two for a different video and today's video will open all of the single figures. But I did want to show everyone what these look like because they are part of the same collection from the 2003 Hulk movie set. Total today we'll be opening six figures. Here's a look at the back of the packages. Our first figure we'll be unboxing today is Rampaging Hulk. Before we unbox this figure, let's get a closer look at the design of the packaging. So on the front it says Rampaging Hulk with Gamma Punch Action and Bendable Traffic Light. And on the side, there's some really cool designs. And on this side we see Hulk with the traffic light in hand. Here's a look at the back of the package. It shows what our new figure will do and it shows some other figures within the set. There's Superposable Hulk, Smash and Scream Hulk, and Hulk Dog, and lastly our Rampaging Hulk on top. On the top left it says Hulk the Motion Picture, and it shows a little bit about Bruce Banner. It's Rampaging Hulk out of the package, and he comes with this stoplight, and it's a bendable stoplight. We'll take a closer look at this in a little bit, but first let's check out our Hulk figure. Here's a close-up of our Hulk. He has his mouth open, teeth showing. Super strong. And on the back you can notice this little piece here, we can move it up and down, that'll make his arms go up and down in a smashing motion. We can also reposition his arms. And we can make them go lower. Another thing we can do with this figure is squeeze his legs together and he does a twisting motion. We can bring his arm up, that way he does more of like a hook punch smash. We'll keep this arm down. That's awesome. And here is that stoplight. And it's perfect that it's a bendable stoplight. And it says Main Street on it. That way Hulk can smash this and bend it. We'll, we'll bend this around so it looks like he just smashed the stoplight. That looks really cool. We can also have it go like that so it looks like he just like ripped the stoplight out of the ground. We'll take one more look at this figure. Let's try this with the stoplight in hand. Next up, it's Punching Hulk. Similar artwork to the other box, so we won't take too long of a look at that, except for the back is going to be different because it's a different figure. Tells a little bit about Bruce Banner again. Shows Punching Hulk punching through the wall. This is how we can use or operate the figure. Collect them all, Superposable Leaping Hulk and Smash and Crush Hulk. I definitely have to get that Smash and Crush Hulk vehicle. Here it is, Punching Hulk out of the package. This comes with a steel wall and our Hulk figure, and Hulk will punch through this in just a little bit, but first let's take a look at our figure. This time our Hulk figure has his mouth closed. Otherwise looks kind of similar to the other one. He has the blue pants, or now turned into shorts, versus the purple on the other ones. And this one also, we can squeeze the legs together and he gets that shoulder waist moving twisting action. So let's get him in a punching position. This will come in handy for when he's smashing that wall. And we can also do this. All right, it's time for Hulk to smash through the wall. Okay, here it goes. Let's definitely try that again. So I'll hold this in place as best I can and Hulk's gonna smash through this first. Oh, and he got all three at once, wow. Here's the other side of the wall. It stands pretty well on its own. I mean, if you give it a little tap, it falls, but it's, it's fairly stable. So again, our new Hulk figure. 
Next up, we have an extremely interesting Hulk. This is Super Posable Leaping Hulk with real leaping bungee cord. That is really interesting. Here's a look at the back of the package. It says hold engine as shown and move up and down to start leaping action. Press and hold the button to stop leaping action. That'll be really interesting. Over to the right, we have Punching Hulk, which we just checked out. And below that, that Smash and Crush Hulk. Here's a look at the bottom of the package. It shows Toy Biz, Hulk, and the proof of purchase on the far left bottom side. Here's our super posable Leaping Hulk out of the package. Let's take a look at all around this figure and on the back, the engine is attached to his back or his shoulders. So it looks like we could untie this if we wanted, but I'm gonna leave it there in the knot that they made back in 2003. We'll leave it there. That way we can try that leaping action in just a little bit. This Hulk does look similar to the other ones. His pants do look different in this one too. So all three of these have a little bit different pants. These have turned into shorts. There's a closer look at the back. We'll check out some of the articulation, which is very similar to on all of these figures. So we can move the hands all the way around. And we can move his elbows. It looks like he can move his arms side to side and can kind of like swivel them around too. I don't like to wiggle them around too much because then they get loose and, and don't keep an action pose. So I try to keep at minimum how much I move them around. We can bend his knees. And it looks like his feet move a little bit too. Now let's get to this part. So what we do is just grab onto this and then we can move Hulk up and down like that. And when I first checked out this figure, I thought there was like a button we could press and then like Hulk would go up like that. But really what I think it is is just kind of bouncing them up and down like that. Kind of like this bungee cord type of action. Here's a further back view of it. So yeah, I think this is really all that we do with this. I mean, it's pretty cool. It kind of almost works like a yo-yo in a way. Now that we've unboxed three Hulk figures, we're halfway done with the collection. I figured I would show everyone what we've opened so far. And out of these three, definitely this is my favorite. I just think it's really cool how the stoplight can bend and I, I just think that's a really cool pose with the stoplight in hand. Next up, it's Bruce Banner transforming chamber with gamma glowing action. Here's a look at the back of the package. Looks like Bruce Banner is turning into Hulk right there and it shows how we use this figure and set. Here's Bruce Banner in the transforming chamber and this is super awesome. First up, we have our Bruce Banner figure. Here's a closer look at Bruce Banner before he turns into the Hulk. All right, let's put Bruce Banner in this transformation chamber. Here's a look at the Gamma chamber and it looks so awesome. This is cool. Definitely don't have anything like this in the collection yet, so I'm just super, super excited for this Gamma Chamber. And we can take this out, and here's our Hulk figure. Hulk is on this tray, and he's attached to it. And what we're gonna do is put Bruce Banner on this side, so we'll attach Bruce Banner. Make sure his hands and arms are in. And then we'll put Bruce Banner inside here. This is gonna look so cool. There's Bruce Banner in the chamber. Okay, now we're gonna slide this over. And then he turns into Hulk. And check this, I can press a button. And then Hulk lights up. The batteries still work from 2003. And this is the button we press down. That'll make the Hulk light up. We can twist this again. There's Bruce Banner. Now the Hulk. Now what we can do is take Bruce Banner and Hulk out of here. And then I put Hulk right here. I think that looks really cool too. It's like Hulk is busting out of the gamma chamber. We are moving on to our fifth Hulk. This is the Rapid Punch Hulk with spinning missile targets. 
There's Rapid Punch Hulk with the spinning missile targets. These keep getting cooler and cooler. This is awesome. So we have our Rapid Punch Hulk and we have the spinning missile targets. In just a little bit, I'll show you exactly what this Hulk does, but first we'll take a look at this Hulk figure. I think this is so cool because each of these Hulk figures is a little bit different, so we're not getting the exact same Hulk. Sometimes the exact same figure or a very similar figure will be made to get the accessories, but we're getting different accessories and a different Hulk, which is just extra awesome. And I really like the design of this figure and really all of them. Let's get a close-up of Hulk's head. This Hulk has his mouth open, teeth showing. Now let's get to the rapid punch part. So it says to pull drawstring back. So this is a drawstring, we're gonna pull it back. Check that out, that is so cool. I'll have to get my hand out of the way this time. Let's try that again. And again. And again. That is awesome. Okay, now let's try it on this here. So we'll get this spinning. Let's try spinning it again. Maybe I'll have to go on this side here. And he knocks it down. It's easy to put this back together. We just put it on top there and it'll just start spinning around. Let's get one more look at this Hulk and now we'll move to our last Hulk of this video. It's our sixth Hulk. This is Rage and Roar Hulk with real working sounds. It'll be interesting to see if the sounds actually still work. Here's a look at the back of the package. Here's Rage and Roar Hulk out of the package. Super awesome figure. And unfortunately, the sounds don't work. I may replace the battery, but I didn't want to do that yet because I want to get the video out so everyone could see these awesome figures. But we still can do the arm smashing motion, and I think it's really cool that his mouth opens too as he does that. Here's a closer look. And there it is, his mouth open with teeth showing, lifting up his arms. His right hand is in a fist, his left hand is open. We can get it in a little bit different pose and we can actually bring the arms up and they'll kind of just stay in place like that. And something else that's interesting about this figure it has kind of like a rubbery, squishy head. So that's definitely different from the other figures. Here's a look at all six figures out of the box together as a collection. And we'll get a closer look at them. Well, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll see you next time.